Yo, what's up friends? Welcome back to Angel in Tech. Today we're going to be doing episode 4 of Python Coding Questions. We're going to be solving a very common interview question that I've seen in data science, data engineering, and Python developing uh, interviews. It's called uh, checking to see if two strings are an anagram. Um, very generic, very common. I'm going to be talking to you about my thought process and why I solved it the way I did. Of course, this is just one of many ways you can do this. Um, but yeah, let's get to coding. Uh, hit the subscribe button comment like turn on the notifications to keep up to date with more awesome videos um, but yeah let's do it awesome so the question asks if to check if two given strings are an anagram an anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase for example, anagram and nagaram are anagrams. So the overall problem description, given two strings, A and B, return true if B is an anagram of A and false otherwise. So the way I built this, just to explain my thought process, was in a class. And this class the, it takes the attributes word one and word two, and they are both gonna be string values. This will initialize a st string sequence in lowercase. So it could be any string, Technically, it doesn't have to be a word. Of course, yes, the idea is if a word is given, but we're not checking to make sure that the user inputs a valid word. That is not the description, the problem here. And then it's going to take the following methods. Can compute, which returns a Boolean value, returns true if links of the strings are the same, else false. And this is because to check if two strings are an anagram, they have to be the same length. You can't have one string longer than the other. And then we're going to check uh, character frequency. So this takes in a string value and it returns a dictionary of character counts within the string. And then we're going to do our is anagram, which returns true if character frequency dictionaries for each string are the same, else false. All right. So the first thing we want to do is in initialize our string values to be able to use. awesome and then like and then here like I said we're gonna create a boolean value from checking our string lengths so the way we could do this is just saying if length of string of self dot string one equal to self dot string two oh no no <laughs> length of self dot string two we return true else we return false so the reason we don't have to put an else statement because if it's not true then it doesn't return it it just goes straight to false all right the next thing we're going to do is create a dictionary that keeps the counts of our characters within the string so first we want to create our frequency dictionary and this is going to be empty um, because we're going to be adding stuff to it and the way we're going to add stuff to it is we're going to iterate through each string. So we can do four. Now we could just do four letter in string, right? Because that's what we're passing in. And then if letter not in frequency dictionary, we're going to add the letter and the value of one because that's how it appears we're gonna do frequency dict letter equal to one so here we're adding the letter as the key and we're adding one as the value if it only if it appears once else if it appears more than once we're gonna do frequency dict and then we're gonna pass in the letter and we're gonna we're going to increment the value of how many times it appears by one. And then after that, we're just going to return the frequency dictionary. And that's it. So we can actually test this. And oh, I messed up right here. It's supposed to be one, not two. It's OK. All right. So then Instead of calling is anagram, we can call um, 
what is it? Check character frequency. Mm, because it needs a string value. Uh, we could do, we can pass in words zero. So cool. So we see <clears throat> we're checking A and N, right? We're passing in Anna, we're passing in Ma, and we're passing in Mom. So we can see that it counts A twice because of Anna and once. For MA, it's counting each of them as once because it only appears once in Ma. And then if we see Mom, Mom, and the letter M appears twice and O appears once. So that's exactly what we, what we want to do. But if we just want to check Anna, we can do this. Now we're checking just the first letter of each one. So which is really cool. Okay, cool. So that's how we do that. And it's not this is not the last thing we want. We want is anagram. So we'll just leave it like that. And it obviously returns none because there's nothing. Cool, so we check the character frequency. Now, in this one, this is where we do the main idea of the question. So it's gonna return true if frequency dictionaries are the same. Uh, return false, there's two cases. Case one, if string lengths are not the same, so we cannot compute it. False, case number two, not one, if frequency dictionaries are not the same. So this will also fall if can't compute is true, then we move this under um, that, under the can compute function. So the way we can set that up is first we can call in self.compute. So if self.can compute, so this is saying if it is true, then let's do this other stuff. So then we can do if self.check car frequency for self dot string one and if it's equal to self dot check oh, car frequency self dot string two so if these are the same we can return true else we return false right and this is under can compute because the links are the same if it's not, we can return false, but this doesn't necessarily tell us whether it's an and why it's false, but it does. Uh, either way, the way you can see this is that if the links are not the same, it's not an anagram. So you can also return this and you should get the question right. So now we can run our functions and we can see it. So Anna and NA are not anagrams. Why? Because we can visually see that they're different links. MA and AM are true. We can rearrange those. Mom, dad, nope, that is false. Even though they're the same length, they cannot be an anagram of each other. So that's how you can solve this awesome Python coding question. Um, like I said, it's not too hard and it's not um, too complex, but it's definitely good to understand how and why you can use dictionaries for this. For me, that just keeping account of the letter is easy because then like i said you can compare the dictionaries and if you still need to troubleshoot you can pr print out the dictionaries like we did and see what's going on um but yeah no it's pretty straightforward on uh, it returns a boolean value but like i said you can also do a different return statement for um for them being different links you can add a quick statement like this and it'll tell you non-anagram um, strings are not the same length so but if we did want to check to make sure we pass the case of this one we can um, we can copy this and put it into our test cases down here just to just to check so we can copy put that inside of some quotes and we see it is true just like it told us in the problem description but yeah that's pretty much it for that question it solves it and of course you don't have to do a class when you're asking for them to or when they're asking you to solve it 
you can do it all in one function. But like I said, I broke it up into pieces so you can see why I thought about it that way. Um, but yeah, no, that that's it for this for this question. There's really not nothing else to go about it. Um, of course, there are different ways to do this. Go ahead and try it on your own. I am going to include a my binder link where you can implement this differently. Um, there's going to be a skeleton for you to follow along if you'd like. But yeah, no, that's it for this. Um, subscribe, like, comment, turn on those notification buttons. I'll see you in the next video. Um, but yeah, that's it for this. Follow me on Twitter or at me at I am Angel SH. If you need to talk, DM me. And yeah, that's it. Have a good day or night wherever you're watching from. Live.